today's video I'm going to show you how you can change the backdrop on Scratch just to make things a little bit more livelier, brighter, interesting. By default on Scratch we have the plain white background here, the backdrop. It's white and it's obviously not very fun to look at or interesting. And if we look at what I've programmed Scratch to say, when the green flag is clicked he will say I love the beach for two seconds and then he will move on to say but I also love walking in the forest as you can see here. Now we can make it a lot more interesting by actually changing the backdrop so when Scratch says these things the appropriate backdrop will load up and to do this we need to click on stage. I'm just going to pop into here because I want to explain very quickly what these figures mean here, these numbers. This is the pixel size, this is the size of our stage in pixels. If we have a picture that's too wide it will automatically condense it and shrink it down to a size which may not necessarily fit full screen so I may find a lovely picture of a beach but the picture size might be too big so when I import it we'll have half of the stage still stay white and the picture will be squished down to fit into that space likewise if I pick a picture that's too small in pixels and there are my pixels I may just end up with a really small picture here and that won't be any good because when Scratch is talking the beach will be there and he'll still be on the white so I need to remember that I'm looking for pictures that are exactly this size this size just to make things easier and to do this I'm going to go to Google Images and type in beach picture and as you can see I've got lots and lots of beautiful beaches here and they all look like a lovely place to go to but if I just hover over them you'll notice it's got the pixel size here so this one for example is 525 by 350 but if I look at scratch you'll see that 480 by 360 is what I need so this picture it will fit it in lengthways but because it will condense it I will miss off lots of the height as well as I have a white um, space at the bottom so what we need to do into Google is go to tools size exactly and then I can type in 480 by 360 just double check and go and that will now pull up all the pictures of beaches that are exactly that size and if I look here 480 by 360 on all these I like the look of this one I like a bit of a rocky beach as well so if I click on that there's no point me copying and saving the picture from the thumbnail here I need to save the picture from here so right click save picture as and I'll call it beach one and I can then go back into scratch and where it's got backdrops again on this toolbar just like last week I need to press upload backdrop from file and select my beach and automatically the picture will fill the space because it's the right pixel size and I also now want to get one of the forest because remember scratch likes the beach and the forest so back into Google forest picture and tools and if you look tools it has remembered what size we selected before so I'm going to go for that one that looks a pretty funky forest and right click save picture and forest one and jump back into scratch and again on here I need to press upload backdrop from file forest two and if I click between them you'll see that the stage area is changing as well so I'm going to jump back to scripts now and I need to make sure scratch the cat is selected I'll just put him over there as well so it looks like he's on the beach what we need to do now in the looks section if you look here we've got something which says switch backdrop to forest one if I press down on that it will let me select any of the backdrops I have imported so I can now drag this in here I want him to say it I want the backdrop to switch sorry before he speaks because if I do it afterwards he will say I love the beach and then it will switch immediately to the beach picture and at the same time he'll be talking about the forest so I'm going to slot in 
the forest backdrop there and I'm going to slot in that there but just change it to beach so now if we look at this the algorithm when the green flag is clicked the backdrop will switch to beach he will say what he needs to say and then it will switch instantly to the forest and he will then say what he needs to say so I'll run this program and let's see if that works so I love the beach and then straight away it switches as well to the forest and what you could do here if you wanted to because he's talking about love walking you can actually also then perhaps add in some motion so let's move here a hundred steps and let's see what happens then so when the green flag clicks we'll run our sequence again and as you can see he's jumped pretty quickly there so I may need to just change my speed I need to add a weight in so if I go to control I'm going to wait 0.25 of a second he's going to move five steps and I want to repeat that 10 times and let's see what happens now so I love the beach then it'll switch to the backdrop and as you can see he's walking but I also love walking in the forest so just to recap super quick then to add backdrops select your backdrop down here on the left hand side go into backdrops import your backdrop you've saved off Google Images remember it needs to be 480 by 360 pixels so import your backdrops and then click on your sprite click on scripts and then you can just program in there the backdrop to switch when certain things are said and that is how you add backdrops into Scratch. Thanks again for watching watching and if you're in my year 4 ICT it would be awesome if you could watch this ready for our programming lesson this week. Thanks very much.